Man City came from two goals down. Erling Haaland, yes, with a hat trick. And of course, uh, Man City winning that game by four goals to two. And a whole lot of people are actually tipping him to win the Premier League Golden Boot in his first season in the Premier League. You think that's a possible no, on a scale no. of one to hundred? How possible is that for Elaine Haaland? Seventy. Injury takes thirty. Mm. Yes. The only thing that can stop Elaine now is uh, he needs to avoid the treatment table. Hmm. His injury record is not that fantastic. He's rarely completed forty games in the last three seasons. Hmm. Uh, that could be something. But if he stays fit, I see no one taking that crown off him. Uh, yeah, I remember all of the criticisms. That came his way during the community shield when he missed the third of chances. Persons, you know, questioned his uh, ability to become the fox in the box that Manchester City wanted. But he since put all of those behind him. And to think that he he, he didn't he didn't really cost a fortune. Huh. He didn't cost a fortune. Just about fifty one million pounds, and then not start adding all other add-ons and all that. He's just strutted in nicely. No, there were talks about. Is he going to adapt to City or City going to adapt to him? But from what I've seen, after match day four, City are adapting to Erling Haaland. But again, you look at the numbers mm, that mm. In, in, in Borussia Dortmund 2019-2020 season, 13 goals in 15 appearances. In the 2020-2021 season with Dortmund, mm. 27 goals in 28 appearances. Mm. And then his final season with Dortmund, 2021-2022, 22 goals in 24 appearances. Yeah. Can he replicate that at Man City? He's already doing that. He's got six in four. Yeah. He's already doing that. Like I said, apart from injury, I'm not wishing him that. Mm. He can certainly hit it. I was talking about what he brings to the fore. I was talking about how City are now beginning to adapt to him. Yeah. Normally, normally, mm. Crystal Palace would have run away without three points. The City have not had that scrappy kind of striker mm. in a scrappy moment that was scored those scrappy goals. In, and in Holland, they have that. Look at all of those goals he scored. A pure instinct. No coach can give you instincts. No coach can give you pace. He's blessed genetically. He's got this raw pace about him. His work rate of the ball, explosiveness of the ball. Yeah. The, look at the way he bullied defenders. Mm. And coaches are already in a panic mood, making calls, asking themselves, how do we stop this young man that's come to the Premier League to steal the title away? So mm. you can only, there are better things to come from this young man. And City finally have the man they can rely on. They've been playing the first night for a long time now. But gradually, he needs to adapt, especially knowing when to run behind. Because City, we yeah. know, yeah. are not typically that incisive counter-attacking team. Mm. He needs to know when to make that run so he doesn't get caught offside. He needs to, when, not to know when to make the run to connect properly with the likes of De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva. So yeah. he's an exciting player, very, very ruthless in front of goal. Razor-sharp kind of striker.